Okay people, it's the morning after the morning after. So I made it back from the three day trip to Nundal. Um, I put up a photo of what I was taking for three days and a lot of people sort of doubted it and questioned what I took. So I thought as I unpack it all, I'd show you. So this is how I went. So six litre cryo bag here that's got all my tools, spare parts and stuff. So I'll spread all that out. One 12 litre Kriger bag, another 12 litre Kriger bag, my camping chair, and my 9 litre Kriger backpack. So I'll now take them all off the bike, lay them down, and give you a rundown of what was uh, in each bag. Um, so, as far as electronics goes, Garmin Tread GPS, my phone goes there, no need for me to put that there. This little gadget here is my battery bank for charging my GoPro, so it's on a quad lock mount with a cable just so then it charges while I'm um, going along and that'll charge four GoPro batteries in one go. Um, just a quick rundown while we're here. Helmet, obviously just helmet and GoPro 11. I'm filming on my GoPro 9 which is on a little handheld thing now. Um, so yeah, I'll get everything out lay it all out and you'll see what I took okay so here's all the stuff laid out as you can see all right so we'll start with helmet I've already given you a rundown nothing fancy plus gloves which are drying anyway so bag nine litre Kriger so water in there bladder in there obviously that's where everything else goes first aid kit Zolio easily accessible all right so in the backpack neck uh, merino Glove inserts, in case my pretty hands get cold. Neck warmer, balaclava thing. Rag for cleaning shit. All right, then now, GoPro charger for the batteries. I usually carry six gig batteries plus a couple of memory cards. Um, now food and this was all part of breakfast for the two days. So. I had two of these, which have the salami and the cheese as well. I just didn't eat the breakfast. So two of those. And then I had two muesli bars for each morning as well, plus muesli bars during the day. I just find they're good. They keep your hunger away and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we did, however, that's why there's still four here. We did, however, stop at the servo every morning to fill up with fuel and they had a cafe. So we ended up having bacon egg rolls every morning anyway. So that would have been what my breakfasts were and I've eaten the other shit during the day. All right, so the first 12 litre bag. That's my camping blanket. Now, it's back in its bag because it's just, they're a mess to store, okay? But normally, out of the bag, jammed in there down the bottom, packs up to probably half that size. So it fits in there quite easily. And along with that, hammock, tarp. I'll put in a photo about now. Of what the setup looked like when it was all up. All right, so that's backpack, 12 litre, second 12 litre here. So all my clothes, you don't need to see my undies and my socks, socks and everything. So that had um, my towel, just a little fold like chamois sort of towel, socks, undies, t-shirt, two t-shirts, pair of shorts, and my jersey, motocross jersey in there. All right, so that's everything that was in there, jammed in the bottom of this bag. All right, this one had, obviously I've eaten it, so it's not in here. So this had two steaks, four Kranskis, two little salads, um, and ice bricks around it to try and keep them frozen and cold. Worked for one day, two day trips wouldn't work. Uh, if you go for one night, unreal. Um, I put a photo up of our our dinners on the first night. Um, so everything fro unfroze, frozen, unfroze, yeah, unfroze in the first day. I mean, we were riding in 36 degree heat, so that didn't help. Um, so yeah, if you were taking fresh frozen stuff, winter, maybe different, summer, no good. 
All right, also in this bag I had my, in there is deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. All right, can't have smelly breath and smelly pits while you're away. Also, two liter, folds up neatly, hydration, um, uh, water bladder. It holds two liters of water. Just like that, see? All right, so that's those two bags. Third bag, my little six liter. Pump, compressor, tool roll, bag with spare nuts, bolts, all that jazz, electrical tape, bush saw, which we used a lot, just for firewood, and just some real easy, quick to get to tools for, you know, minor breakdowns. And also in here um, is a front, in the bottom of there, can't really see it, but is a front tube, I only carry a front tube. So that's everything I took for three days. Um, did it work? Yeah, it did work. Would I use it like this again? Not a hope in hell. No, no chance. I wouldn't take this again. The hammock, super comfy, and I love it. But A, we couldn't find enough trees to put it between when we first got to it, so I was end up camping way up in the blue boonies. Um, and it got freezing at night. Yeah, you know, the, that camping blanket's rated to five degrees or something it's unreal but the heat comes up underneath you and that's what makes you cold um, you can get under blankets for the hammock but then you end up basically carrying two two of these so you might as well end up taking a tent to be honest because you're not really saving yourself any room um, so what would I change out of all this setup for the next trip would be just to get rid of this and this and take a tent now I'll give you an idea of what size difference that would all make okay so we get rid of that one get rid of that one so we would need to take camping mat blow up camping mattress i love this one's really comfy so that one and it's a little bit larger but than most um, than a single one, so it's a little bit bigger. Pillow, camping pillow, same, same brand. Actually like that. Trick is, don't blow it right up. All right, so when you look at that versus the hammock, yeah. hammock and the tarp, hey, get back here. So you look at those two versus those two, these two are smaller, so you've actually saved some room. So the killer spaceways, is the tent right there's the tent now this will pack up a little bit tighter not hugely but it does pack up tighter um, what I normally do is not put it in here I use the same principle as this take each section out and jam it into the bottom of each pan each each saddlebag and that'll save you heaps of room um, but so basically yeah all these bags would work so that that, 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 and that. The only thing I would probably change is that bag, which is six liters, would get changed for a 12 liter bag, and take the tent. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my setup. Hope that all made sense. Hope some people get some use out of it. And it's not the be all and end all. There's five million setups out there. Some people will not like what I'm doing. Some people will like what I'm doing. So at the end of the day, you need to just use what works for yourself um, but anyway I got asked questions when I put that photo up so that's how I roll thank you